What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the free general collective reading, caps to side you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general, free general collective reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Just saying, just saying. All right, you guys. Well, I got another channel message in, um, so I'm going going to deliver it. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, someone has been um, secretly um, social media stalking you, um, but it's giving it's about to backfire on them. I heard it's giving them such mental health issues. Um, uh, one of these people may end up checking themselves into a mental institution soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Why they're secretly stalking your social media, I have no idea. I heard they're secretly stalking it. So secretly stalking it. So I think they uh, have created uh, a fake profile. I think they have created a fake profile. Maybe you think it's someone you know and that's why you added them. Now, whatever social media profile, um, social media platform this is, I'm not sure. I didn't hear that. Um, but it's some kind of social media platform. So, it, you know, but they're secretly stalking you. So I think they, they're they catfishing um, under a different profile. I think they've created a profile. Maybe um, you think it's somebody else and it's really them. Or maybe they're borrowing somebody you know's profile and they're um, and you have blocked them in the past. And they're under somebody else's profile secretly. Um, and you have them added on as a friend or a connection or what have you on the social media. And they're secretly stalking you. Um, but I heard, um, at least for I, I, whoever this is for, I think it's for two plus people. And um, whoever this is for, I think it's two plus people doing it is what I'm saying. Because I heard at least one of them is going to, um, they're experiencing such, such mental health issues doing this. Um, secretly stalking your social media profile. Well, why are you secretly stalking somebody's social media profile? Just move on in life, man. Move on. Why? Why? Uh, I don't understand that. Um, but they feel the need to secretly stalk you. But I heard one of them, so it's at least two people in the universe doing this. Um, one of them's going to start getting such mental health issues soon. They're probably going to check themselves into a, a mental health facility soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's pretty strong. Holy crap, a moly. I feel guided to use energy. And one of them is going to therapy right now. And something, one of these people is about to say in therapy soon is about to trigger a series of chain of events. The therapist is going to trigger the series of chain of events. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So you plug it in. How it resonates. There's, whoever you are, you guys have... Oh Lord. Who have you been hanging out with in the past? This dear God Almighty. This is strong. Okay, so... Um, so one person, they're secretly catfishing you, secretly stalking you, secret profile energy is what I'm feeling, um, or catfishy profile energy. Um, you don't, you don't, can't see it's really them because that's the whole premise. They don't want you to know it's them. So like I said, they're either using a, somebody you have added on on your social media and they're pulling, pulling you up through them, or they have created their own fake profile and you think it's this person you know and it's really them and they're social media stalking you so you have that person i heard um but it's backfiring on them or about to backfire on the universe it sounds like it hasn't happened yet it sounds like it's about to it's about to backfire on them in the universe um they may check themselves into a mental health institution soon and one person is currently going to therapy it sounds like but i heard an admission in the therapy to the therapist soon is going to trigger a series of shame events by the therapist i'm um, soon so whatever the series of shame events are by the therapist i'm not sure uh maybe it's extra care plan 
information. Maybe it's extra safety precautions. Maybe um, they, uh, maybe it's uh, uh, admission into the uh, mental health facility. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. But dear God Almighty, this is strong. This is so strong. Seven chakra, Archangel Uriel, crown chakra, crown chakra. Their crown chakra is very much distorted because of the past. It's about to be made very known, very soon, very publicly. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, my Lord. This is so sad. I heard their crown chakra is very much distorted from the past. So crown chakra is the seventh chakra. It's up here. Third eye is right here. Crown's right here. Crown is cognitive. Cognitive, mental, processing, um, logic, reasoning, um, analytical, air sign energy, basically. Crown chakra. Um, but I heard it's so distorted because of the past um, that it's about to be made very well known very publicly soon. So um, I think at least for one of these people, it's in the therapist um, session. For one, it might be when they self-check themselves into a mental health institution, uh, institution possibly. Um, but they have distorted it in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. Um, and it's caused this huge distortion um, to their cognitive, to their mental, to their processing, to their logic and reasoning and analytical skills. And, um, oh, Lord, this is terrible. This is so terrible, you guys. Um, so much so they feel the need to secretly social media stuff. I mean, that is scary shit. Scary shit. Some drugs have really screwed this person up. Some secret voyeuring in the past. Okay, I heard some drugs have really screwed this person's, um, Mental, cognitive, processing, etc., etc., etc. Mental brain type activity up here uh, in the past um, because of uh, some drugs I heard and some um, uh, secret voyeuring of the past. So some kind of secret, um, secret, sly, weird, creepy voyeuring. Uh, I feel hidden camera energy th there. I did not hear hidden camera energy, but it feels like secret sleuth hidden camera energy. I didn't hear it, but some kind of secret voyeuring. So um, how are you voyeuring if you're not doing it through a hidden camera? I'm just saying. Um, and some drugs. So some, they just screwed their mental processing and logic and reasoning and analytical skills all up to hell because of drugs. And I didn't hear what kind of drugs. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Wow, this is, oh my God. Some, it was heavy, heavy, heavy manipulation from people they used to be with in the past. Hang out with. Okay, I heard some, it was heavy, heavy manipulation from people they used to hang out with in the past. So, um, some, it was um, drugs. Some, it was um, secret voyeuring. And some it was um, heavy manipulation, so heavy mind fuckery, basically, from people they used to hang out with in the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, so their mental processes are all screwed all to hell, basically. Spirit messages you have reflected. This is sad. Healer of the Ages, number 51, might be very significant. We have Angel of Strength on the bottom of the deck. Number 50 or 51 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Number 50 or 51, that could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth numbers, possible lottery numbers, possible um, jersey number, uh, possible green card number, number 50 and 51, healer of the ages.
You are very, very, very healing to this person. They are very addicted to you, but in a very unhealthy way. They need to detach. Oh my God, this is terrible. Holy God. Somebody has a very weird, super stalkery, creepy, unhealthy attachment to you, if this resonates for you. I heard from Spirit they need to detach. And yeah, if they are freaking social media stalking your ass, um, under a freaking fake profile or using a friend's profile to do it, um, so much so they're stalking the hell out of you on social media, yeah, they need to detach. For sure, for sure, for sure. That's codependence in a weird social media freaky deaky way. It might be the same person that was secret voyeuring you in the past, for all we know. Um, just saying, just saying. But I heard um, you're very healing to this person. Um, but they need to detach. So you are a healer in some shape, form, or fashion. I think you are a very helpful person in the universe. I think you heal the universe or um, maybe not so much heal it, but I think you contribute to the universe in a positive way is what I'm trying to say. I think you contribute to it to it uh, in a positive way. This person knows this. Um, and they're trying to feed off your energy is what I'm feeling. Um for some, I feel they secret vo secretly voyeured you in the past. Um, and they try to they probably energy shared off you in the past. They can't do it no more. So now they're trying something to attach to you. Um, because they're so codependent on your energy or um, your healing properties is what I'm feeling. But I heard from Spirit they need to detach. And it sounds like soon series of train of events is going to detach them. Um, they they need help. I mean I can't say they need help because I, I mean, I, I'm not saying that, but they do need some assistance. They definitely need some assistance. They need to be away from you. I'll tell you that right now. They definitely need to be away from you. They need some assistance and it's not from you. Um, and I'm serious about that. Um, but you are a healer. I think you could be a healer in the 3D or the 5D or both. I think you could work in the spiritual realm on the light side. You're definitely life side, whether you work in the spiritual realm or whether you do, or whether you don't. You um, either um, are a life side spiritualist or you are a um, healer in the 3D, like a um, medical professional in some shape, shape form, some shape form or fashion. I cannot speak today. What is up with that, man? What is up? So you plug it in how it resonates. You're either a healer in the 3D or you are a healer life side in the 5D or you are both. So healer of the ages. Oh, Lord. Angel of strength. One of these people is going to be admitted to a mental health facility soon against their will. It's about to get really, really, really bad for them. They cannot control themselves. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Holy moly. So you plug it in, how it resonates. We have a lot of mental health and mission um, energy in here. Um, but in all fairness, it sounds like these people do need some kind of assistance. Um, they do. I mean, Yes, Lord, this is terrible. What I mean, I really feel sorry for these people, and I'm serious. I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them. I do. Um, so maybe um, I heard at least one of these people. So it's at least three people in the universe. I'm feeling one goes to therapy. One's about to self admit themselves. One's about to be admitted against their will. But I heard they're about to get so out of control that um, some it sounds like series of chain of events is going to happen to cause them to be admitted. Um, against their will. So I think they might be a danger to society or danger to themselves or danger to others. Um, that's what I'm feeling for them to be admitted against their will. Um, I feel they either have to be a danger to themselves, a danger to another person, or danger to society like in public is what I'm feeling. Um, I heard it's going to get out of control. So something like series of chain of events is going to happen either in a private home setting or a public setting or something to where um, it's going to cause this is what I'm feeling. This is terrible. Lord. Um, but at least they'll get some help. At least they'll get some help in all seriousness. So angel of strength, strength, um, to get through this, uh, strength for them to get through this strength for you to move on in your life. 
because whoever you are, um, these are very codependent people. It, this is not healthy energy to be around. Um, and whoever you are, I feel you've really done your healing and shadow work and you've really worked on yourself. So, you know, you don't need to be putting yourself around these kind of codependent people. And I'm serious about that. Um, nay, 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 nay. So strength for you to move on, strength for them to get some help um, is what I'm feeling here. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Let's see if, see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, well, we're done. That was quite a freaking reading. All right, be safe. Please be safe. Please protect yourself from um, these super stalker people. Just saying. All right, I love you guys so much. Namaste.